Hi Smart Minds, this is episode 2 of our Scratch RPG series. In part 1, I showed you how to code our player and the detection. Go check out part 1, links on the description below. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to switch from different scenes and how to go in and out of houses, shadow and fall in leaves animation. So let's get started. So first I'll be showing you how to switch from different scenes to another scene. So on the starter project, we got this first costume. And you could see we got three open gaps so a player could move to the next scene. So make sure you keep some open gaps so your player could move to the next scene. And the next thing you need to keep in mind is where would your player switch. So if our player exits this scene from here, then our player would be entering this forest scene. Oh, if our player exit from here, our player would be entering this new empty village scene. And another thing is to make it look natural. Like we don't need our player exiting from here and entering from somewhere like here. So make sure you keep it a really nice looking transition. So our player exits from here and enters the new scene from here. So again, enough of those designing parts, let's start coding. So first of all, click on the hitbox right, And click on the detection and hide this right for now. So when we right click, we need to make a new variable called steep for all sprites. And then we need to set steep to 1. So this is our first scene. Then click on control forever. Grab an if statement and an end. Grab this equals operator. So if scene equals one. So if this is the first scene, and our y position is lesser than negative one hundred and sixty-five, then we need to set scene to two. Alright, what does this code do? So if our player is lesser than negative 165, which is here, then it will set to scene 2. And when it's scene 2, we need to switch to the next scene. So for that, click on this PG. Forever, we need to switch costume to T. And click on the detection forever. We need to switch costume to C. So now I can see when our scene transition happens, our player is still on the same position, so it doesn't look natural at all. So for that, click on this hitbox, and after setting scene to 2, we need to go to X, our original X position, and Y to 169. So now let's test it. And now you can see we got a really smooth transition from scene 1 to scene 2. So now let's code so that we could exit from scene 2 and enter scene 1 back. So for that just duplicate it. And we use the lesser block just change it into a greater block. And enter value let's say 169. Scene equals 2. Then we need to set scene to 1 and we need to go to x position, x position and y negative 165. And now you can see we got a really smooth transition from scene 1 to scene 2. So now I'll be showing you a bug that you might encounter. So I'll just set it to like 171. And now let's test the project. And now you can see our player can't move to the next seat. So that's because we are setting our x position to our x position and y to 171, which is greater than 169. So scratch would set scene back to 1. So be mindful when entering position. So okay, now let's code another transition. So for that, just duplicate it. And I'll just switch these two. And if our y position is greater than negative 70, 
then we need to set scene to 3 and we need to go to y position and x negative 234 and now if we test our code now you can see we are on scene 3 and that's because this statement is true a y position is lesser than negative 70 and we are on scene 1 so we just switch into scene 3 so to avoid this we need to add another condition and that's the x position grab this and duplicate x position so if our x position is greater than 235 and our y position is greater than negative 70 now let's test our code and now you can see we could switch from scene 1 to scene 3 so now you might be thinking we could just add the x position and true the only the x position would also work so for now, let's just keep this X portion and Y portion. So don't delete the blocks. So grab this if statement. If our X portion is lesser than negative 235 and scene equals 3, let's see to 1. Go to Y portion and X235. And now let's test our code. And now you can see we could switch from scene 1 to scene 3. And okay, now let's code this gap. So, same thing, just duplicate. And if x position is greater than negative 235, then we need to set scene to 4. And if scene equals 4, we need to set scene to 1. And go to x, 232 and negative 237 okay now let's test our code so now you can see if we try to move it's set to scene 3 so that's because both of these statements are the same this is where we need both the x and y portion so if you have two or more gaps in the same x and y corner then we need to make a statement with the both the x and y so now you can see our y portion is greater than 129. So for that grab this y portion that we previously saved. Duplicate this and block. Remove the x and just add the x here. And the same thing for both the other two statements. And this time if y portion lesser than negative 70. Our y portion is lesser than negative 70. Duplicate. And now let's test our code. And I can see we cannot enter scene 4, so that's because negative 237 is lesser than negative 435. So let's just set this to like negative 238 and I can see our scene transition works. So now I'll be showing you how to go in and out of houses. Our scene 2 we got these two houses where we could go in and come out. So for that click on the hitbox sprite and we need to set make a new variable called door for all sprites and we need to set door to it so okay just duplicate this code and grab another end statement so if our x position is greater than 136 and our x position is lesser than 148 and if our y position is greater than 105 and if scene equals 2 then we need to set scene to 5 and go to x0 and y negative 72 we need to set our do variable to y which means yes and now just remove this block and grab two o blocks 
prab equals x portion equals zero or our x portion is greater than zero or if our x portion is lesser than zero and our y portion is lesser than negative 72 and scene equals 5 then we need to set scene to 2 we need to go to 105 and 138 And I can see we can enter the house and go out of the house. So we duplicate and now let's code the other house and grab an end block touching color. And if we are touching this color and our X portion is greater than 18 and lesser than 28 and y portion equals negative 95 then we need to set to scene 6 and we go to x0 and y to negative 72 and just the same thing just edit this scene to equal 6 and we need to go to x28 y negative 94 so now i'll be showing you why i add these touching color blocks so for now we could just remove this touching color block and just add this and I can see we can go in and out of the house so now I will show you why we need this touching color block so if we just go from the same portion and I can see we just entered the house from nowhere. So that's because that this statement is true. So now let's just add this touching color block. So now I can see we cannot enter the house from here. That's because we are not touching the brown color. And we could enter the house only from here. But there's a thing to know. So our portion is just right here but the same color is also present in this big red thing click on detection so i'll just decrease this detection block and that's because this red house just got that brown in the bottom so what i did is just increase the detection so our player won't touch that brown so that's another thing that you need to keep in mind. So now I can see we can enter and get out of from the house. So now I'll be showing you how to code this shadow. So you can find this shadow in actor, characters and just scrolling all the way down and you will find this shadow. And I have already uploaded the shadow. So what you need to do is when green flag click we need to show and we need to set our ghost effect to 60 and we need to forever go to grab this plus operator we need to go to grab this pay backdrop of stage change this to player x portion of player duplicate change this to y portion y portion of player plus negative 50 so now I can see we got this shadow. So you could just play with this value and find the one you need. So now I'll be showing you how to code those animated leaves. Click on this leaf sprites and when green flag click forever. We need to create clone of myself and we need to wait pick random from 0 to 1 second. When I start as a clone, we need to go to pick random from negative 200 to 200 and y. 200 and then make a new variable called yvel for this sprite only and we need to set yvel to pick random from 2 to 5 set our size to 70 grab this if statement 
equal to you need to pick random from 2 to 5 and if 2 to 5 equals 1 then we need to forever so this should be in an if else statement so grab the if else so forever change our x by turn and change our y by grab a times operator grab this abs and change this to thin of make a new variable called sin for this final week sin of sin times 3 and just duplicate it and paste it on the term block and when you change our y by y value times negative 1 else just duplicate this and place it here forever we need to change our x by negative 3 direction and we need to change our scene by y bill and grab another when i start as a clone block we need to show that our ghost defect to 20 we need to wait until y portion is lesser than zero then we need to repeat 40 we need to change our ghost effect by two hide delete this clone so make this to ghost effect so we need to hide it and now let's test our code and i can see we got this really beautiful leaf animation so just like i showed in the preview of the original game when our player comes to this empty village scene the leaves turn red so to create that effect just go to your hitbox right so when set scene 2 we need to broadcast a new message called scene 2 and broadcast another message when we are setting back to scene 1 and now click on this leaf and just grab the high block and when I receive scene 1, just set our color effect to 0, duplicate, and when I receive the scene 2, just set the color effect to write 155. Now let's test it. And I can see we got those sort of red like dried leaves. And now we just switch back to scene 1, we got those original green leaves. So there's also another bug that we need to fix. So if we just go inside a house, you could still see the leaves, which doesn't make sense at all. So to fix that, we'll be using the door variable. When I start as a clone, forever if else equals yes. So if door equals yes, then we need to hide else show. Okay, now let's test our project. And I can see if we enter a house, we cannot see the leaf. And the dough is still on white. So just click on the box and there should be a bug. And you could see it's here. So when we come out of the dough, we need to set our dough variable to end. Do this to both of those houses. Now let's test the code. So now you can see our animated leaves are working. So that's it for this video and on part 3 I'll be showing you how to code the NPCs, the say text engine and maybe weapons. So stay tuned for part 3 and if you want to make an awesome game like this, make sure to check this video.